Have you ever had troubles in the bathroom? While it may be common when we are not at home or when we eat foods that cause constipation, when it happens frequently or for too long, it's necessary to seek medical help. Do you know for how many days it is normal to not go to the bathroom? Up to three days without evacuating can be considered normal for some people, as long as there are no symptoms of constipation. However, for most people, pooping less than three days per week can be considered a sign of constipation. Intestinal constipation can intoxicate your body and cause many health problems. It is important and healthy to poop every day. When your evacuation isn't frequent or when your stools are small and hard, you are constipated. Difficulty processing foods, characterized by pain, bleeding, and discomfort, can inflame and obstruct your intestines, putting your health at risk. Dehydration, lack of exercise, and a diet poor in fiber are some of the factors that can cause constipation. These are the main consequences of constipation. Lack of appetite. If you don't go to the bathroom frequently, you may experience loss of appetite. If you don't eat anything, your body won't have anything to process and eliminate, worsening the problem. Hemorrhoids. Constipation can irritate your intestinal tube and cause hemorrhoids. When we don't go regularly to the bathroom, the muscles get tense, which makes it difficult to eliminate feces. The veins of this area can get inflamed and overloaded, weakening its performance. Skin problems. Constipation can result in swelling, skin rashes, acne, and dark circles under the eyes. Headaches. Do you have headaches? It can be a signal that your body is having troubles eliminating the toxic material of your feces. The physical effort you make to help eliminate feces can also cause headaches. Bad digestion. Bad digestion, gas, pain, and nausea can all be signals of constipation. To prevent constipation, eat more vegetables, green leaves, fruits, bread, cereal, rice, whole grain pasta, oatmeal, and whole grain wheat. Fiber increases the volume of the stool and facilitates the elimination of fecal matter, improving intestinal traffic. Drink plenty of water because fiber can get dry, which makes it difficult to eliminate and can even worsen your constipation. Water keeps the fecal matter humid and soft, preventing constipation. Another way to prevent this is to go to the bathroom as soon as you feel the need. Besides that, regular practices of physical exercises, such as walking, also contributes to a better intestinal function. If even after eating more fiber, drinking more water, and exercising, you still spend more than one week without evacuating, or evacuate less than three times per week, visit a gastroenterologist to examine your problem. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.